YouTube, how are you doing? In this video, we're gonna install the POC iOS mod on top of CM14.1 latest official ROM created for the Samsung S3 9300. You're also gonna see some pages with all them phones passing by you know go to the cyanogen mod site and go see if your phone is also in there if it's not in there then probably you should sell it and buy a phone that is in that list hundreds of phones up there you know so go look and see if you can find your phone in there then download the latest room that was created for your phone install it of course you are already rooted of course you have twerp or the latest clockwork mod uh, uh, 6 installed on your phone only then of course you can flash uh, the latest version that was created for your phone from that website you know and then um, you download the package from from my download here somewhere you will find the link download it and then flash it as you will see how, I, how i'm doing it kind of in the video when you did that, all right, then you boot up and then in fact you will have these look and feels, but there is a bug with the launcher that I found out. I'm gonna show you as well the fix for that. So sit back, relax, uh, so you can see how to fix it. All right, my friends. Okay, then I wish you uh, many uh, fun with the video. Hello, I am your personal assistant in the Puck ROM phone, modded by Puck Darlington. Congratulations, if your phone is also supported by the Cyanogen Mid website. Because then you could flash Puck ROM onto your device. Take a look and take the time to test the ROM, before applying the Puck iOS mod for all. You must have a custom recovery installed such as TWRP or Coom 6 latest version KitKit compatible. First flash the ROM that runs good on your device. Then go back to install zip and choose for Puck iOS mod at that for install it reboot and you're done. Congratulations, you are now part of the Puck ROM family founded by Puck Darlington and Tudor Jr. That's right, and so are you. You are also now part of our little Puck ROM family. And uh, I must say that I'm really happy about the Google uh, Assistant because she can help me to say things in different languages so I can talk in fact to all the people out there uh, in the world thanks to this fantastic speech assistant i want you to immediately turn on your inoti it's kind of important and you will see later in the video why that is um, make sure also to turn it on otherwise you will not be able to get uh, when you're gonna pull down the menu uh, you won't be able to get to that menu so you must turn the inoti on of course you must also tap on the build number seven times so you enable developers options that's what i'm doing it's in dutch but don't worry it's just the same in english and in chinese and in hindi and then you look for developers options and then you turn it on okay and you turn root on for all the apps for for only apps okay so now your root is enabled so now uh effect cha we're done with this and we're gonna now look for our root browser
In the third folder, you will find the root browser. Give it root permission. Select uh, for always. There, the little tappy there. And then permission. Here you can select no. Uh, now go to the place where you have uh, the boot animation that you will also find in this package. Special created for the Samsung S3 will work on the S4 as well. I'm not sure if it's gonna work on the S5 and the S4, but you should test it. I think it should work. The resolution is good enough. So then you go and look uh, for your main folder called uh, system. By clicking the little home, you will find it and then look for media and paste the boot animation up there. Make sure it's called boot animation .zip. Of course, it will be called that way. I will make sure it's uh, having the right name. Paste it. And now you can reboot your system. So we're gonna give it a reboot there. And yesterday I found that this, uh, what will happen next to us as well. Um, I rebooted the phone. I did it in a soft mode meaning that the reboot will take uh, shorter and it will immediately be back uh, just showing the boot animation I also found a bug in uh, the launcher. Uh, it could be that after a reboot, you try to get into the home screen and then you see in fact that all your icons are gone and you see some strange thingy there. Just pull down the menu and go to the little settings there, double, double pull it. And then if you get into, oops, it's a little tricky. There, hit the little wheel and then we're gonna go into settings okay scroll down to your apps scroll down to apps okay and scroll down and look for the OS 9 launcher okay there it is and just hit stop okay and then okay and then just hit your home screen and then your launcher should be back okay so that's how to fix it this was done on the Samsung S3 90 300. Um, you could see at the beginning of this video all the phones that are kind of supported. So go to the Cyanogen mod site and see if your phone is in the list. Go for the latest version, download it and test it on your phone. See if it works. Okay, only if it works good, you're gonna flash the Puck mod on top of it as the second flash in the recovery okay so that's that's all that is to it you must find your own rom and probably it will run on any custom rom out there but of course i did not test it and you are the only one that can tell us if it works for you and how it works for you you could see the little bug in the launcher how we fixed it if the launcher is gone simply pull down the menu two times and hit the little wheel that you see there. You see the little little wheel there? I know it is kinda a little bit on top of it. It's there. You see that? Then it will bring you to the settings. Okay. And in the settings, just go to apps and find uh, the OS9 launcher. Uh, stop it, you know, force stop it. And it will restart and you'll be good to go. So that is how to fix the launcher. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna get any update for this launcher, but I have even more launchers. I'm so kind of uh, blessed this, this, this weekend. I did some research and I found some fantastic things that also kind of work. And uh, now it's just up to us to find the very best one. I'm not saying that this is the best one, but this one is, is, is way better than 
the one we had before because this one you don't have to you know go and update etc but there is a little bug in it and uh, once in a while it might happen to you so see if um Oh yeah, what I also did on my S4 and then it never happened to me again. What I did is I went into privacy. Okay, here. I went into privacy and then to privacy guard. I did not do that yet. Uh, here, I should hit okay. Okay, and then here in privacy guard, I turn this on. Okay, and here on top at the three little wheels, you see advanced. And up there, you, you're gonna see all your apps okay try to find the os uh, launcher you know and make sure let me find it real fast for instance the one mobile market eh? you can turn everything off from it it doesn't have to restart as well it doesn't have to start it's it, it wants to start it wants to you know be turned on on the background none of that is you know it wants to stay on it's not needed it wants to record audio that's a kind of brutality you know it wants to look at my camera brutality you know agenda it wants to read my agenda it wants to change my agenda you know it wants to know my location you can deny all these things you know it will still work it will just still work fine so that's what you should do with uh effect all the apps that you download and that you know I mean, like, if you're gonna tell Google speak, uh, Google Talk to not use the internet or not to, you know, then in fact, yeah, it will not work, of course, because Google it needs it needs that. Here is the OS9 launcher. So let's see what the OS9 launcher is. It's reading. It's looking at contacts. Uh, it wants to uh, watch my, how you call it. My statistics of my call calls and it did it two times already but this thing is not connected to the internet so it cannot do nada it wants to read my SMS um, so effect all these things we can turn off like SMS uh, no ignore ignore and of course it wants also to turn my Wi-Fi oh it also wants to turn my Wi-Fi on and off uh, let me see where's the thing <laughs> just just split and leave man so oh there it is again iOS 9 uh, so I put that all on deny it wants to turn off my Wi-Fi I'm gonna say no and on the background it should run otherwise it cannot be a launcher of course you understand so i turned all these things off in my s4 and i never got the problem again let me not talk too hard it is the s4 there you go and both phones are the same they have the same apps everything the same and when we're gonna do a restore we when we're gonna go to um to restore the complete phone you know uh, everything comes back just like this even your boot animation isn't that cool yeah so i want to thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and as always till the next one boom to all my people from the chess republic keep testing the works and for all the fans of the galatasaray you know here we are, you know, boom, boom, boom.